Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today's real user view, we are gonna be taking a look at the Neosmart Herman Pro Backpack. Now, Neosmart did send me this bag for review, but all the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. I did not share this content with Neosmart prior to publication. They will see this when you do. Now, if you saw my unboxing video of this bag, I titled it, This Could Be a Redemption Arc, and, and in fact is. I am very satisfied with this bag. It has handled really, really nicely for me over the past three or four weeks. Uh, so this indeed is a redemption arc. If you're unclear as to what that refers to, several years ago, I did take a look at another Nail Smart backpack that I wasn't exactly happy with, but uh, this bag is definitely a pleasant surprise from that one because I've thoroughly enjoyed using this bag. Now, as always, before we get into the nitty gritty of it, let's start with a few specs of the bag. The Herman Pro is a half roll top backpack that comes in at $159 USD. It is available in black and green. And this is the green version, although in certain lights it does have a grayish tinge to it. But in natural light, out in the sunlight, this does in fact look like a deep green, which uh, I really like. It's a, it's, pretty, it's a pretty killer colorway. This version of the Herman Pro is built from real user feedback. So Neosmart listened to its consumers and made modifications and added features that they asked for. This is a 20 liter bag made from a Lycra technical fabric that is an 82% nylon outer layer, an 18% spandex inner layer, and a TPU layer sandwiched in between. The Herman Pro features a zip closure that also allows for side access, a fidlock buckle for the roll top, EVA padded straps, and a two millimeter EVA padded flannelette lined laptop and tablet sleeve. So how have I used this bag? Well, this has been my daily EDC for the past three or four weeks. I've used this at least five times a week. I don't really uh, do much on the weekends, it seems, besides go to children's birthday parties. So I have not been slinging a bag uh, the past couple of weeks because I've spent them at bowling alleys, aquariums, jump, uh, trampoline parks, things like that. So I've been uh, I've been chasing around a five-year-old, making sure she stayed not dead and uh, not slinging a bag. So I've been carrying this around five days a week, EDCing it. So this has been to the office every single day, weekday, Monday through Friday for the past several weeks. I've also been caught in the rain quite a bit. Now I have still been car commuting. It is only early March here in Pennsylvania. Um, so I'm not having busted out the ruckus quite yet, but I do drop off Miss Hazel Fantastic at school prior to getting to work. So sometimes I don't get a prime spot. And sometimes because it is early March, it's quite rainy and I'm walking a considerable distance from the car to the door of the building. So this bag has been rained on several times. And uh, I'm not talking a slight drizzle. I'm talking, we have been in a couple of downpours, even though I was not out there extended periods of time, I have been caught in several downpours and everything inside, tablet, laptop, and uh, all essentials stayed 100% dry. So this bag, at least in my mind, is it's definitely weatherproof. I don't like to call anything waterproof because there are a lot of mitigating factors. Uh, waterproof, for some might mean that they can dunk it in water, but that technically would mean it's submergible, but someone might just see waterproof and think they can dunk it in a lake, and that's not the case. So I like to use the term weatherproof, and this bag certainly is weatherproof. Again, everything has stayed completely dry on me while I was out in the rain. And then when I got to work, it, uh, it actually works really well. The only thing that I notice is when I get to work, where I put my bag, I normally set it facing this way. And if you remember in the uh, features of the intro, I said there was a side zipper access. Well, that zipper is not the internal access of the bag. This is in fact the side access to the internal of the bag. So I just have to remember when I get to work to flip the bag around the other way. But I really like that feature because when I get to work and I need to access my bag, I kind of set it down, I unzip it and I flay it open. So it doesn't open completely, but it gives me pretty solid access to the internal of the bag, whether I need my notebook or whether I need my tech kit. I can access all of that pretty simply without having to dig through the bag because this is a roll top and usually roll tops are top access only, but this gives me side access. So when I'm at work using this bag, that side access comes in very handy for me. Now there is a pleat in there. Now what that pleat is for is to keep the bag from completely opening when you're unzipping it and everything just spilling and falling out. Now what that pleat does, it prevents the bag from completely opening and everything inside just spilling out. But what that pleat prevents you from doing is when the bag is laying down, you can't fully flay open that top, that top flap and having complete access to the inside of the bag. 
So I'm kind of on the fence if I would personally change that feature or not. I love having it when I have the bag standing vertical and I unzip it and everything doesn't fall out the bag. But when I have the bag laying down and I want to fold it open so I have complete access, it gets in the way. So I'm on the fence with it. Whether or not I would change that feature, it really depends on how I'm using the bag. If I'm accessing it top down or standing up, I would 100% leave it there. But when I'm at work and I want to access it from the inside and I need say, I'm a headache and I want to get my pills, which are usually at the bottom of the bag because I don't access them all the time, I kind of wish I can peel that layer, that lid back a little bit wider so I can get into it without having to kind of dig in the bag a little bit more. So it, it's something that depending on how I'm using the bag is how I feel about it. So it's a good point of note for you to know going into the bag, but I think ultimately I would probably leave it as it is because I much prefer not spilling everything out and just take the extra seconds to dig through the bag to get my aspirin that's at the bottom of the bag. So I would probably leave it if I overall had to really, really put some think time in, I would probably leave the feature. But just know if you wanted to have full peel back access, that pleat does get in the way, but it keeps your stuff from falling out, which is a very good thing. Now this next point is something I generally just pass over on bags because most of them, they just don't do it. Stands on its own. I'm not touching it. Here are my hands, it is standing up. I don't have this packed out any special way to make it do this. I just have all of my stuff thrown in here and it's standing on its own. Now I say it's something I, in there, I just moved it, I slid it, it rocked back and it still stood on its own. Now this is something I generally just pass over on most bags because the majority of bags that I review, they don't do this. So I've gotten accustomed to just not having a bag stand up on its own. It seems like it's a very rare feature that a bag does do this. So I like that it does do this. It's, it's always nice when a bag stands up on its own, especially if you're traveling, people that uh, do urban carry and if you're in the city, mass transit or anything like that, you wanna set the bag down. You don't have to lean it against something. You don't have to sit there and maybe lean against your legs, lean against the seat next to you so your bag doesn't fall over on the ground. This will stand up completely on its own. It has done this every single time. And again, I have not packed this out spe specifically to make it do this. I know there are a lot of people that will pack a bag to make it stand up, makes it look pretty when you're reviewing it or if it's on display or something. But a lot of bags I noticed do not do it, but the flat bottom on this is designed in such a way that no matter how I pack it and set it down, it almost always stands up on its own. Um, some bags will have a flat bottom, but depending upon how you pack it, it'll just tip over. This one seems like no matter how I put anything in here and after I'm rummaging through there, things get jostled around, it generally still stands up on its own. So that's a very, very nice feature of a pack. And again, something that I've come accustomed to not having because the majority of the bags I look at they don't do this and um, it's always nice when they do. And before I get to mention this seeming inconsequential feature of the bag that I really, really like, it's this loop right here. Now, if you're like me and you work in an office building that you need an ID to not only prove that you work for that company or in that office, it's your access to the building. So I always like having a piece of webbing or some molly on the front of the bag to clip my badge to after work because um, it always makes it a lot easier when you're going to work the next day and you forgot to clip it on your belts and when you're trying to carry lunch or any other junk that I, used to, I always seem to end up carrying stuff to work and my hands are always full. I don't have to set everything down, especially when it's pouring rain outside in early March and uh, try to rummage through my backpack to get my ID. I like to clip it to something on the outside of the bag where I can just reach around and access it or at the very least, turn around and jump up and down like a fool until my ID badge goes past the reader and it unlocks the door and then I can just kind of open it with sometimes my foot and act, enter the building and stop getting rained on. So I love having a little piece of webbing or some molly on the outside of the bag where I can clip my work ID because it just makes it so much easier for me the next day because um, morning Jeff, I'm awake, but I'm um, usually pretty scatterbrained because I'm running around getting myself ready, getting Miss Hazel Fantastic ready, getting what I need for work, getting what she needs for school, getting her in the car and getting her to school and then getting myself on work on time. So uh, there's a lot of moving parts in my morning. So when I have quick and easy access to my ID badge, that is always a very, very positive in my book. Another point of note I would like to make is that there are two zipper pockets here. You can clearly see two zippers dangling. And what these two zippers are is the one that I did talk about in my unboxing, which is your rear passport pocket. This is where you'll stash your passport or any goods because it lays flat against your back. Usually these tabs are kind of hard to see. You can hide all your cash, boarding passes, passport in here, it's against your body. It's hard for a thief to get their hand in there and access. But I completely missed this whole zipper here. There is a very slim 
zipper pocket right here that I totally missed in my unboxing and I, I don't know how I missed it. Now it's glaringly obvious to me that there are two zipper pulls here, but somehow I completely missed this pocket and I had to do a little pickup shot with me accessing this pocket. So what I've been using this for, I like it, it's slim, you can't fit a lot, it's pretty much a lay flat pocket as I keep my field notebook and my pen in here. So this is a great quick access pocket for any little notes I wanna make. I always carry that small notebook in addition to my big notebook. This is the one that I use for you know video ideas, things like that, but I like to carry a small notebook for anything else that I might need you know, things like grocery lists, reminder notes. So I like carrying that little slim notebook, that field notes in this slim pocket here. It's a very nice, quick, easy access. I can get my notebook, I can get my pen, and they're right there, right on top. I can access them without digging inside the bag. And again, you can see it's a very slim pocket right on the body of the bag. So there's not much room in there. So you're not gonna fit much more than like a field notebook and a pen. Um, it's, it's fairly decent size. So you could probably fit a few extra things in there, but there's not a lot of space in there. It doesn't have its own three dimensional space. So you will be taking up any room inside the bag if you will be accessing or using that pocket. So please keep that in mind. But it is really nice to have that quick little QA pocket there on the side of the bag that you can stick a few essentials in there. I'd still be able to fit like, you know, a breakfast bar or something in there if I was doing like a granola bar or something like that. That would still fit in there pretty pretty nicely, but I wouldn't really fit, put anything a little thicker than that in there because after that, you're gonna start uh, making that, po that pocket a little bit tight to zipper and taking up internal space because it is pretty slim in there. Now, one thing I would probably change with this bag, um, I like the fact that it's there but I found it to kind of be a little bit cumbersome and a little bit annoying, and that's going to be magnet here. There's a little magnet down here and on the flap that holds that flap close. Now I find when I'm trying to dig through here and if I'm moving my hand around, it'll kind of sometimes drop and close, and it, I don't like that. I find it kind of just gets in the way. There is a zipper here for this pocket so I can just easily zipper it closed. I don't really need this extra magnet. Now I think it's more for the buckle, the Fidlock buckle, than the pocket flap, but honestly it's not gonna rock back that much further, so it doesn't really do too much. I feel like it just, it just kind of gets in the way a little bit, just enough that I find it annoying. And honestly, it's the only feature of the bag that kind of got my way and made me feel a little bit annoyed was this little magnet here. Um, it's kind of unnecessary. It's not gonna make the bag cost any cheaper if they eliminate it. It's such a small feature, but I just kind of sometimes find it cumbersome. I find it gets in my way. And uh, I, it's, pr it's pretty much the only thing that I would uh, completely change or remove from the bag is that one little magnet. It's really the only issue that I kind of found using this bag over the past several weeks is I just found that it got in my way every once in a while and I found it a little bit annoying and I would like to just completely remove the magnet. But really, that's the only like negative, if you will. It's more of a point of note than a negative, but it is really the only thing that I would change about the way this bag is functioning. And it's not even a cosmetic thing. You can't even see that it's there. It's completely hidden. But that's really, that's about the only thing I would change with the bag is I would just eliminate that magnet. But other than that, I've been really, really enjoying this bag. It has some really smart features built into it. Even the material, it feels really, really nice. I never heard of a Lycra technical fabric before this, and I figured, oh, it's Lycra. It's probably not going to be the greatest to the touch, but it's nice. It feels soft and supple. I like the way this bag feels, and it's been wearing really, really well. It's been holding up great, and it's been keeping everything dry inside because, again, I've been caught in the rain several times walking from the car to the building and from the building back to the car. So let's kind of break it down. We'll go over some of the features of the bag. So we do have a Fidlock main buckle here that closes our roll top, but it also helps to secure our zipper pocket. So we have a Fidlock, another magnet, and then we have a zipper. And inside this pouch, it does have a little bit of its own three-dimensional space. It does kind of taper towards the bottom of the bag, but it does lift away from the bag so when you're putting stuff in here you're not going to be pressing into the main body it is going to be taking its own space now you are going to again be a little bit limited because it does taper a little bit at the bottom but it does have enough space that anything that i want to throw in here i've i've not had any issues with now this is pretty tight and it is hard to see but there are two liner pockets inside here you can see i have a pen in one i have another notebook in here this one's more for work purposes and then I actually threw a deck of playing cards in the other so you can kind of see that they have two liner pockets. And then there is still a whole bunch of space in here where I have other things like hand, oh, those are my earbuds. I thought that was my hand sanitizer. 
cortisone for the eczema that will be popping up now that it's springtime. And I think that's all I had in here. I tried to keep it a little light in here. I have my two liner pockets, my pen, and then my earbuds. And the cortisone because I get a spot on my wrist that never seems to go away. And then again, we do have a zipper closure here so we can just whoop, zip that closed so we don't need this pocket at all. And then across the back, we have our laptop and tablet sleeve. So we have our main laptop, which I actually have my tablet in right now. Then we have our tablet sleeve, which I have a fundraiser for my daughter's dance class. And then in front of that, we actually have a zippered pocket, which I'm not going to show you because there's a bunch of bills in there. And then there is still a little bit of room down here. We can see I threw like my first aid kit. So like you can kind of catch, use this as like a bit of a catch all. And this is this EVA, two mil EVA padded with this like flannelette lining. This feels really, really soft, really, really nice. The only liner that I've really, really liked other than this in a laptop sleeve has actually been the corduroy that Green Room 136 uses. It's a really soft, really nice corduroy. And this is pretty much on par with that. This is really soft, really, really nice. And I can fit a 16 inch MacBook Pro inside this laptop sleeve. It fits with no issues and the bag zippers closed. But for now, I've been using it for my tablet because I've been using the tablet sleeve to hold my paperwork. And then to hit the main body of the bag, we will pop our fit lock open, unzip our bag, and we can flail it open. And you can see down into this bag really, really nice. And this is where I'm saying the pleat. If I didn't have this pleat here, I'd be able to pull the front of this bag back a lot easier, but it prevents everything from spilling out. And I think it's also helping to make the bag stand while open, because you can see here's my hands. I am not touching it and it's still standing completely fine. So inside here we have my tech kit, my supplementary kit. This one has like the aspirins that I talked about earlier. This has a couple other things. This is like chargers and things like that. My admin panel pocket. And then down in here, let's see, always carry a bandana. Very, very useful, very handy. And then down inside the bag, we actually have two liner pockets where we have another notebook. I just have lots and lots of notebooks. We have this little BO gear sharp sack that has some change and some odds and ends in there. And then we also have a zipper pocket that I really love having a zipper pocket in the main body of my bag for small things like my green room 136 pouches, my tuna tin and my sardine tin. These things lay flat, but having a zipper pocket on the inside really really works out well for these little pouches and this is a pretty good size i'd say it's probably about six inches deep and probably about uh six or seven inches wide and it fits these two pouches side by side pretty perfectly and i love having an internal zipper pocket on the main body of my bag specifically for these two pouches i use these quite a bit and they're small enough that no matter what bag i'm using if i don't have a pocket like that these will migrate to the bottom and get lost and they're always separated so when you're rummaging through they're almost the exact same size. And when you're just going blind, even though one's got hook and loop on the front and one does not, when you're trying to find one, you don't know which one you're grabbing because you're usually rummaging blind. So I love having that internal zipper pocket in any bag. And I, I love having an internal zipper pocket in any bag. And that's like the perfect size for it. It fits both of these pouches, no problem. And it still gives me enough room to stick my hand inside to get them out. So I'm not wedging them in. It's like that perfect size, like six, six inches deep and about you know six or seven inches wide prime prime internal zipper pocket for any bag but one of my absolute favorite features of this bag is something i've never seen in another bag before it's this panel right here i can unzip it it only unzips from the laptop sleeve side but i unzip it and then i can take it and tuck it down and now i have access to the laptop sleeve from the main body of the bag so if you zip this up You can see there's my paperwork, there's my tablet. I can access all of that from the main body of the bag. So I don't have to go to the back and unzip the, the laptop sleeve. I can connect the two and then make the bag one huge compartment. That's a really, really cool feature that I love about this bag. It's something I've never seen in another bag. Sure, there's you know a single main compartment where you have a removable laptop sleeve whether it's held in there with Velcro or you just stick it in there. But I like having that separate compartment that I can keep them separate if I need to organize things differently. But 
I can also unzip and fold it down and then make the bag one big compartment so I can access everything through one main opening of the bag. I don't have to use the zipper compartment on the back to access the laptop or tablet if I don't want to. I can get everything from the main body. And again, that's a really cool feature. I've never seen it before. I really, really like it. You just tuck that flap down in the back, it's completely out of the way, and you can still access everything through one pocket at the back, and that's pretty awesome. Now this is a 20 liter bag, and it does carry like a 20 liter bag. It does have a bit of a teardrop shape to it, so it is a little thinner at the top and gets a little bit wider at the bottom. So please keep that in mind if you are going from a larger bag, like 25 or 30 liters down, that this does indeed carry like a true 20 liter pack. Now the one bonus with this being a 20 liter pack, but a zipper closing roll top, is if you do have too much stuff, this is all zippered closed. You can just pop that feedlock open and you can load this basically all the way up to the top. If you can zipper it, it's gonna stay because this zippers across the top. So you can still zipper and load this thing all the way up and close it, or you can unzipper it, load this thing all the way up and then zipper it closed and you're not gonna lose anything because unlike a traditional roll top that is open at the top, this is still, even though it's still not flapped and secured, it is totally closed. You can load it all the way up to the top. Now, if you look at it too, it is what I would call my least favorite roll top. It kind of tapers at the top. There are basically three different roll tops. There are a tube, which is basically straight down. There is the flare out, which comes up and flares out. That's my favorite because it gives you the most access inside. And then there is the taper, which comes up and tapers in. But because this has the zipper that lets you get side access, I really like this opening. So I can still almost fully access this bag. Again, if this pleat wasn't here, I can get all the way in, but if the pleat wasn't here, the bag would fall over and everything would spill out. So I like having the pleat there. But because it is a zipper roll top, if I'm carrying or need to carry a bunch of extra junk, because you never know if I'm out in the city, I might need to carry, I might pick up, I call them incidentals. I might pick up some incidentals throughout the day and I might need to carry some stuff, but it's more than my 20 liter bag can handle. Well, because the zipper's at the top, pop that fidlock open, just stuff it to the top, zipper it closed, and you're totally fine. So you can actually carry, I think, a little bit more than 20 liters with this bag if you need to. I don't think it's gonna be super comfortable to do like that all the time, but if you acquire any incidentals throughout the day, this is gonna be a good way to kind of uh, combat having to carry extra things in your hands, especially if you're already carrying extra things in your hands. So that uh, top roll top zipper closure is a pretty cool idea and it really would work. It really works to help you expand the capacity of the bag in a pinch. Again, wouldn't do it all the time. Don't think it's gonna be the most comfortable carry, but in a pinch, this is definitely gonna work and it's gonna save you. But when you're not using it, fold it down, close your fidlock, you're good to go. So overall, do I think this bag is worth your $159? And honestly, yeah, this is a pretty good pack. This is a solid bag. The construction is really good. The materials are really good. It's been holding up and working out really, really well for me. It's got a couple of features that I really, really like. And overall, there's only one thing that I would totally change with the bag and it would just be remove that one magnet because I find it to be a little bit cumbersome. But other than that, it's comfortable to wear. Uh, slinging this on the back. The EVA padded straps are nice. They're not super, they're, they're pretty thick, but they're not super dense. So they have a lot of flex. They can form to the body. They go to the clavicle well. They don't dig into the clavicle. They don't dig into the neck. The back is comfortable to wear. Um, it, this um, Lycra technical fabric works really, really well. It feels really, really nice. Strangely, I, again, I thought this was gonna be like a really weird feeling bag, but it feels really, really nice. I like the touch to it. I like the texture. It's very smooth. It's very nice to the touch. And it works to keep your stuff dry. I've been caught in the rain a couple of times with it. So overall, this is a pretty solid bag. This is definitely a redemption arc. The Neo Smart Herman Pro is a solid bag, and I think it's worth your money. Now, you may not have ever heard of Neo Smart before, and I'm a firm believer in, you know, there's Amazon sellers and there's small sellers. You don't have to buy the big name brand bags because there's plenty of them that made a solid product for a lot of years, but now, they're relying on their name and their name alone to sell product and their product is inferior. And I can think of a bag company right now that um, I would say I will never buy another one of their bags brand new ever again. It's a big bag. I've used them, I've reviewed them on this channel, but I would never ever buy another one of their bags brand new again because I think their quality has gone down drastically even in the past couple of years. But sometimes a brand name that you've never heard of before 
can definitely hit a home run. And I think Nao Smart, they're definitely, they're listening to the customers. They use the customer feedback to build the Herman Pro. And uh, maybe they took some feedback from my original video of things I would have changed and done differently. And they're implementing that in their product. So I'm a firm believer is you don't always have to buy the big name brand companies in anything. Now, not to say, Every name brand company is overpriced, something you should stay away from. That is not true at all, and I'm not saying that. There are plenty of companies that make a premium product, and you will pay the premium price for those premium materials, the manufacturing, the way it's made, the way it's shipped, and everything like that. But you don't always have to go that route. You don't have to spend $400 on a backpack to get a quality product. And I think Nail Smart Herman Pro is putting out a quality product at a good price point. That $159 is pretty solid. This is a pretty solid bag. I think it's right on point for that price point. You're getting a lot of nice features, you're getting a nice bag. It looks really good. This fits in in the office. Again, in certain light, this looks a bit gray. It is green, uh, but they make a black version as well. So I'm satisfied with this bag. Nail Smart has redeemed themselves in my eyes. If you're looking at the Nail Smart Herman Pro, I'm gonna go ahead and say snag one. It's a great pack. I'm thoroughly enjoying this bag. I've enjoyed my experience with it and I'm gonna continue to use this in the future. So if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video. Good night.